There you go. Six hooks in your hand. Yeah, he's cold. Doctor cleared me. He said I'm good to go. Let's see if we can catch something. Por la tierra, está más fácil. Se cayó. Se ha hecho ya. Ahí voy, espérate. There you go. There you go. Look at here, look at here. Oh, you're so cold. Oh, that feels good to be back. Hell, man. Pretty. Thank you for biting. You made my day. There you go. Bandito bug. Making it work. That was a soft bite. That was super. I didn't feel a thump. It just felt a little heavy. And it felt the rod kind of like bend over a little. That's why they say hook sits are free. So give it to me. Man, that was cold. If you want to get a shaky head or a drop shot. There's something y'all will be wondering to know. If the drop shot works with the canals. Let you know. Had something under the bridge. I doubt it. I would think it's colder down there. That place over there looks great. Let me tell you that right now. Let me cast. A little bit away from me. Is there anything right on the bank? Um. Oh 
Oh man, I hope this stop. Down here, might as well try it, right? There you go. <laughs> Another baby. They're cold. The old LFT de hooking method. And he's like, You are pale. Thank you. And he's good. Fast number two. Cast paid off. There you go. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah, that's a good fighting one. There you go. There you go. That's not bad. Like a pound or two. Good boy. There you go. Three bass ended it with like a what? Two pounds, one and a half. I'll give him two, but if you want, you guys want to call him one and a half? I'll forgive you. I'll take it. Thank you. Go back. Ah, I haven't felt a fish fight that good in a while. First back, first time back fishing. I got. So by the time you guys see this video, you're going to see one a week prior to this. And that was filmed before the surgery in December, my laser surgery. And I, I wanted to take, take precautions so I didn't go fishing for a whole month. Yesterday I had my third checkup. The doctor said I was free to do anything I wanted, including swimming, which is what I was scared of in case I fell in the water, in which case I didn't want to risk it, so I just forced myself not to go fishing. And yesterday he showed me, I asked him, like, hey, what, what, what are things I can do not do? You're like, you're free to do whatever you want. Just protect your eyes with contact sports if you play any. And enjoy life. So that's what I'm doing. I'm here doing just that. Nice way to start off the my the year. Third bath of the day. Nice one. And yeah, pretty eventful day. To say the least.
only thing I need now is a five pounder. I would say I was upgrading, but the first one was bigger than the second one I caught. Just to share some thoughts here at the end of the video. Sometime during the beginning, you guys saw that uh, somebody had fallen in, into the canal and I showed some snippets of me trying to help them, but I didn't want to post too, I didn't want to post too much about it. Because I didn't ask him if I could put them on the video. They didn't ask for it. He didn't he definitely didn't ask me. Do we fall in the, in the canal? Things just happen. Thankfully I was there to help him out. And we got we we did get him out, he's fine. I mean just a little wet, water was cold, he dried off and then they all headed home. They were, they were catching some fish, so they didn't go up home and find it. But I just wanted to give a little message out there to please be careful to all the fishermen and anybody who's out near the water. Nobody in the fishing community or anybody wants to hear that somebody got hurt or got to get past uh, in a fishing accident. So have some backup plans. Try not to go fishing alone. But yeah. On a separate note, the Medito bus. We came in clutch today. Uh, I wasn't expecting to catch much with it. I had a little med rig. I threw the jerk bait around. I know the first fish I caught in the video was with the jerk bait, but that was prior to my LASIK surgery. So I caught that bass, and then I couldn't go fishing for a while. And then now, 2021, that's the first time I went fishing and caught those three bass. And the last one was it was pretty nice. It was a nice way to the end of the day. My guess is just the smaller pinnacles from I guess from comparing it to the Kraken Crow. Stuff with less movement, less is more. They're pretty cold, but they'll still bite. The bite feels kind of like a another expression. I, I think I compared it in a previous video with so it feels like trash or moss. It just kind of feels heavy. And then I, I kind of did a good representation of the little zoom up on the last fish where I felt some weight, but I just wasn't sure. I just I just put pressure on them and had to bend on the rod. And then finally I felt him kick. He had it in his mouth. I just felt him tick a little bit. I felt the, the, I felt him swim away. And that's when I set the hook. So fish kind of slow. I know it was jinging a little bit fast, but whenever I would slow down, that's when I would eventually get a bite. And you wouldn't feel the bite. It would just he would just suddenly be there, and then you just kind of have to guess the weight. And you would just feel a little bit heavy. But yeah, that's it for today. I uh, hope you all liked it. Um, uh, hopefully I can get down to the coast sometime soon, but I'm still waiting because you know, I don't like going by myself and the whole COVID thing makes it hard. So yeah, well, but anyways, thank, thank you all for watching. Uh, I appreciate the views. Uh, share your feedback with me on the comment section. Let me know if you like it or not. Uh, Ask me anything you want. I'm hoping for it. So thank you. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.